So it's easy to fall back on the Cinderella storyline. That would be the easy way to go. But is that really a fair storyline right now? No, it's not. And you know what else isn't fair, Gino? You know, when you just say, you just need to get into the playoffs and see what happens. You know, you actually have to be a good team if you want to make noise in the playoffs. The Winnipeg Jets, they just got in. What did they do? They lost in five games to the Vegas Golden Knights. At no point were they ever in that series. The New York Islanders, yeah, they just got in. What did they do? They lost to the Carolina Hurricanes. You know what the Florida Panthers did? They won the President's Trophy the year before. They made significant changes to their team. So were they just underachieving then in the regular season? Well, they were underachieving. They also had a lot of injuries. And they weren't they didn't have their lineup and it took a little while for them to get over the losses of that team you bring in Matthew Kachuk but you had Huberto, Uyghur, Mason Marchman, Claude Giroux, Ben Sherratt all these players go out the door and they found a way to make it work and for the Florida Panthers their path of, of getting to this point is very impressive the fact that they knocked off the best regular season team we've ever seen in the Boston Bruins and then they completely dismantled the Toronto Maple Leafs and yes they swept the Carolina Hurricanes and yes it was close but it still was a sweep like according to Brenda Moore it was close it's it's very impressive and now they have 10 days off between the Carolina series and the Vegas Golden Knight series we'll see how that factors in but it's it's been a very impressive stretch for them and it's not like they just snuck in. Yeah, I understand they snuck in, but they're a very, very good team, and they deserve to be here, and they're showing that now. They're not here if not for Bobrovsky and Kachuk, because those guys were stellar. So if you had to end up the Conn Smythe right now, it'd be real tight. But project for me, looking ahead of the cup final, if Florida seals the deal, which one of those two do you think will steal the show? All right, the chicken or the egg, which one came first? We don't know, right? Uh, I, I, technically, I'm not sure. Okay, no. so Bobrovsky <laughs> and Kachuk, which one is helping the other one have success? I would make the argument that if Sergei Bobrovsky is not playing the way he has been playing, Matthew Kachuk is not afforded the opportunity to have the playoffs he's having and score these game-winning goals and these great moments in overtime and be the Matthew Kachuk that, that we've seen. And the series... The season could have been over for the Florida Panthers. We must have said it 14 times on this show alone. But in Game 5 against Boston, if Bobrovsky doesn't make that breakaway save on Brad Marchand in the dying seconds of that game, it's over for them. And then he goes on to that Toronto series. He doesn't have a game where he allows more than two goals. And Matthew Kachuk was quiet in that Toronto series. So Sergei Bobrovsky and his play, his ability to stop the puck and be this, I know you don't like this term, but I'm going to say it, Gino. This X factor for the Florida Pan. I know you hate it, but the X factor for the What's Florida. What's an X factor? Sergey Bobrovsky. There's right. your X factor. If Sergey Bobrovsky isn't doing what he's doing, Matthew Kachuk doesn't have the opportunity to do what he's doing. So yes, if Florida were to go on and win, the Consmith Trophy should be awarded to Sergey Bobrovsky.